If you're currently using Outscraper as your main scraping tool, and if you haven't tapped into the Google search scraper, this video is dedicated for you. Make sure you stick to the end of this video so you know exactly how to use Google search scraper to export all the search results into an SCV or Excel sheet. Without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first method you could consider is actually utilize Google official search API utilizing JSON. However, this is more developer heavy. You need to know what you're doing in order to put this into action, which leads to the second most convenient, effective and user friendly method is utilizing a scraping tool such as Outscraper. If you don't have an Outscraper account, I highly recommend this tool. The link is in the description below. So once you have an account set up, you want to open this drop down. You're going to see the last few options here says search. This is the main feature we're going to use for this specific tutorial. But just a quick side note, why do you even want to use Google search scraper at the first place is because just in case if you're writing some blog post or someone is doing some SEO work for your website or landing pages, you can easily use the query to track into an SCV file. So in this way, it's more visual, you can actually track the position and the ranking of your specific domain. For demonstration purpose, I'm going to use these three phrases or query to do the scraping. The first one is going to be best camera for beginners. Second one is Christmas gift ideas. And the third one is how to find the perfect gift. So once we have our query narrowed down, we want to input it into this box. You can also upload as a CSV file. And from there, you can see the next criteria or settings we want to do is pages limit pre one query. In this case, I'm going to bump it up from one to five. What that really means is it's basically scraping page number one, two, three, four, five. So for each query, the first five pages of the results will be included in this search scraper. From there, we're going to narrow down to language. In case you are from different country, you want to choose your language accordingly. So in my case, I'm definitely going to go with English. And last but not least, you want to search for specific regions. So in this case, I'm going to go with the United States. Again, based on your country, you want to input your region accordingly. So from there, I'm going to click on other parameters, there's a couple more settings we can tweak. For results extension, you can go with Excel Sheets or CSV. I'm going to go with the Google Sheets at the end to analyze the data. So I'm going to go stick to CSV. Last but not least, for better organization, you want to input a task tag. In my case, I'm going to go with a demo task. In your case, just put whatever makes sense to you. By the way, just to make this process more realistic in real world scenario, I'm going to input one more query, which is OBS round webcam. Because because previously, I personally wrote a blog post. And currently, this is rank number one. So let's see if it's actually rank number one based on the CSV data. Once you're done with everything, you want to click on get data, give it a few seconds, our scraper is going to give you a rough estimate, you can see we have a four different query and we have a five page limit pre query. So four times five, that's a 20 in total. So very rough estimate is correct. So once you're happy with this, you want to click on confirm and send this task into your task task list. And now you want to click on task to come to the task page, you can see the first one is what we just submitted the four different queries for Google search results, you can see the tag is displayed as a demo task. So this process should be really fast because we only have a 20 different results, right? So just be patient with it, give it a few minutes. And occasionally you can click on refresh button on the top right corner. And just to see and track the progress a few minutes later, and that's it. As you can see, the progress is finished. The entire process took less than a few minutes. All we need to do is click on one of these search results 20, and it will automatically download the CSV into my download folder, you can see the file is right here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire up Google Sheets, click on file and you want to import and you want to come to upload. And you want to basically drag this into this box and just let go give it a few seconds. And what I want to do here is want to replace current sheet. And just a friendly tip, if you have a whole bunch of tabs sitting in one master sheet, the best ideal scene is to use CSV. Because if you want to go with the Google Sheets, and if you have an Excel file, if you upload it, there won't be available option to replace the current sheet, it will force you to create a brand new sheet, just a friendly reminder. So in this case, I want to replace everything and import data, you can see this is the data we just scripted. So let's quickly overview these data. So the first column is a query, you can see we have four different keywords or phrases. The reason the last five 
five don't have a link, title, and description, that is because these are mainly questions. If I come to incognito and Google and type this exact keyword, there's a section called people also ask. You can see the last five results is basically exactly the same questions, right? And the position is number one, two, three, and four. And from there, you can see here's a list of all the links and a website. You can see the position column number one, all the way down to 45. This is an organic search results. Maybe this is a blog post and review and so forth. And on top of that, we have a description of all these pages. In case you want to do some SEO research or competitor analysis, it's really important to check out what kind of competitors are writing in their description and what kind of keywords they are packing into their description. It will give you a better clue as well as a title of the page, right? You can have a quick glance to see what kind of keywords is packed to these titles so you can pull some inspiration and some ideas. From row 50 all the way down to 75, here is all the shopping results. You can see the pricing of all these items as well as the source. Remember, come to this page real quick. Here is a shopping results we're talking about. Again, the results is super accurate and it takes a lot of these labor manual work into automated processes. Remember at the very end, I slided one more query, which is OBS round cam. So I wrote this blog post a few months ago and turned out right now is ranked number one. Let's open it up real quick. Here is the blog post that I wrote. Here's the title of my page and here's the description and here's the rank position, which is number one. I can do the query and the search to see what my current position at is. Copy paste this URL, come to the sheets. I can basically search it up in this database and to see Rule number 214, it's ranked position number one. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the Outscraper channel for more tutorials that's coming up in the near future. And also drop some comments and questions below. What type of tutorials would you like to see in the near future? We'd love to make that happen for the community. With that being said, we'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.